Commute today was probably terrible in the rain. We're dealing with it all day today, Dave. Not good. Yeah, not good. And I think that this evening will be a little bit slower than the morning. At least the morning, the rain was just moving in at the tail end. Now it's sort of here, and it's going to be here for the entire afternoon commute. As we take a live look outside, you can see how murky it is out there at the Charles River and the rain just dripping off the camera. At times it'll come down with some heavier downpours and other times it'll be a lighter shower. So I'm not expecting any real problems this afternoon, but again, the headline that I've got is the slower than average commute, whatever average means to you. This is just gonna slow it down with the afternoon showers. Now, humidity is gonna return, especially later tonight and tomorrow. We've got warm tropical air, a few storms tomorrow afternoon and evening, but again, no big deal, brighter and seasonable through the weekend, although I think that we may have an issue here Thursday and Friday with clouds. We'll talk about that in a minute. So as we move forward through the forecast right now, we're starting out with a lot of clouds. Temperature of only 62. Dew point has come up a little bit at 56 and wind coming straight in off the water. The visible satellite loop, this allows us to see that we've got a lot of clouds over the area as temperatures this afternoon stay in the lower 60s and then start going up this evening. And look at what happens. We actually go up overnight. So the low temperature for tonight will be reached early in the evening and then temperatures will actually just keep going up, up, up as we head through the, after, as we head through the evening. And I think by tomorrow morning, we may be near 70 degrees. So right now, dew points, as I just showed you, are in the 50s to near 60 right along the south coast. That's the sign of the increasingly humid air moving in. It's still relatively dry, at least in terms of dew point, back towards the north. But watch what happens. It'll go in. I stopped the motion at 9 o'clock. Even this evening, we're in the 60s. So I would shut your windows if they're open right now. Kind of keep the cooler and relatively dry air in because as the night goes on, it just continues to get more and more humid. And by the time we're, you know, 20 hours from right now, dew points are going to be in the lower 70s. This is that real high, oppressively sticky stuff. It won't be very hot. It'll only be in the 70s to near 80. But nevertheless, it's going to feel quite warm, and you may have to put the air conditioner on to dry things out. Let's move it forward a little more. So here's tomorrow night around 11 o'clock. Still very humid to go to sleep, but by morning, I think this dry air tries to get in here so it's a little bit better by then. Hour by hour we go with the shower activity. You can see some elements of heavier showers but by this evening it's kind of winding down and then during the day tomorrow there may be a couple of showers but also a few glimpses of sun here and there. Just a very warm kind of a summery type of day in terms of precipitation. Could see over an inch in some spots but under half an inch in others. It's really going to depend on whether you get one of those heavy showers or not. And just a quick quick check at the weekend. I think right now Saturday is looking fantastic, up around 70 degrees. And for Sunday, also looking pretty good after a nice, comfortable night for sleeping Saturday night. And temperature on Sunday will get up into the 60s, so it looks like a pretty nice day then as well. Let's look at the seven days ahead. And as you can see, we've got that nice weather this weekend. I'm a little concerned about clouds holding tough here Thursday and part of Friday, but if we have to contend with clouds then and it's a nice weekend, I think everybody will say, sure, let's do it.